Wow. Have we ever talked about the story on this podcast about the time that Sandy flew? I was about to say. <laughs> I don't think I we have, actually. Wow. I think I know story. the story, but okay. I don't think we have. So, um, so Sandy, Ansley, have you ever heard about this? No. Okay. So on the Sandy, your cat. Right. Sandy is my cat. And it's like, it's like the, the trees were dead. So I guess it was like February or March or something like that. Yeah. And we have like in our backyard and in home and Gardendale, we, uh, we have these, we have like a forest behind our house and, uh, <laughs> Sandy somehow like climbed up the tree. And if any of y'all have cats that have done this before, you know, that cats, whenever they go up in trees, they can't climb down, but they can climb up. They can only jump off things. So if they go up to a certain height, then they'll just like freak out. And then I guess their brains are trying to tell them like maybe there's a way out up, but there's not a way up now at this height. So she kept climbing further and further up the tree. And then like literally all night long, she would just like, like she was up there for like three days. And we were like, we don't know what to do. Like surely she'll figure out a way at some point. She was also being like so, so annoying. Yeah, like, like all night long was just like, all rah, night, all day. Rah, like, like, and she like usually you never hear, her, but like she would yeah. wake us up sometimes. She'd be like belching so loud in the middle of the night. But she was up there for two nights, and then the third day we were like, she was way up there, and we were like, we got to figure this out. Like we got to figure out a way to, to get her down. And then Mr. Mike, our neighbor, had a like police system. <laughs> He, like, I don't know if he had it and was for stuff like this or he made it, but essentially he threw a rope up to a very tall limb. I don't even know how he got it up there, like, to, like, close to the top of the tree. And the tree is probably, like, 30 feet tall, like, I guess. Really tall tree. And he, and then that tree, he used that and then, like, kind of hooked it around the bottom of another tree and then, like, pulled it to where, like, when you pulled it, the rope wouldn't move. If that makes any sense, you you know what a pulley is. You know what I'm talking about. But pulled it, and then the tree, like a 30-foot-long tree, kind of got super close to bending all the way in half, like to to where Sandy like was just about to jump off of it, just into our backyard. And then uh, all of a sudden, (laughs) uh, a tree limb broke, and (laughs) because of all the pressure on it, and this 30-foot-long tree or 30-foot-tall tree (laughs) became like a ginormous 30-foot. Tall catapult, Shot. catapult, at, with as much torque and force as you think a tree bent completely in half would have. Like it was crazy. <laughs> so Sandy flew. <laughs> I like to this day. Like I just strongly <laughs> wish we had a video of this. Like, but like Sandy probably flew like sixty feet <laughs> into the into the sky, <laughs> like straight, up, like impressively straight up too. Like, because, you know, she could have just, like, (laughs) flown into the woods. But instead, she just flew straight up. The tree just, like, And then... Oh, my gosh. And then she was literally, like, doing backflips and crap. And then (laughs) she just, like, landed, got up, walked away. (laughs) Like, it was crazy. Insane. Uh, I don't know how she landed. I can't remember, but... How did she live? But we were, like... It, we were all like, if it's a thirty foot a tree and she gets catapulted I, from, sixty feet. From my memory, like I think Mike and my dad were like talking about it. We didn't really know. Like it was one of those things where like we didn't know what was going on. Like we just kind of we were like, I was inside and mom was like, y'all got to come look at this. And we walked outside and it all happened so fast. I remember just like walking outside and Mr. Mike was just. He didn't ask anyone. He was just so bothered by her cat belting out that yeah. he was just like was going to do it. And then we were like, oh, what is he doing? Like trying to figure out. And all of a sudden the cat just goes just, flying. That's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe literally dad didn't even talk to him. Maybe like Mike just thought it was a good idea. I'm like pretty sure he was just bothered by her. Yeah. I'm just like, we have to It was this. crazy though. Like Sandy just oh like gosh. hit the ground and all of us had this like <gasps> cumulative like two second is she dead? Like, did that do, cause it could have killed her. Cause I it was like, should have killed her. Kill her. <laughs> like, Hello? And, yeah, or just like walk, like Maybe walking off, and she was like, she she sat down. I mean, she ate and stuff, but she like pretty much sat in the same place for like a week straight, or maybe even a month straight. I don't know. She was like not, remember. she was not moving fast for That's a long crazy. time. Maybe yeah. she had a cat concussion. Yeah, she definitely had some like broken rib or something. Oh. I don't